I used AR to avoid a catastrophic disaster. Let me explain. In this video, we're exploring Arky, an architectural app that uses AR technology to portray an unbuilt 3D model in the built environment. Arky claims it is a must have app for all architects and designers. Today, we're gonna to put that to the test. We're gonna be covering the basics of the Arky app, the best and the worst case scenarios, how much Arky actually costs in the real world, and also my verdict on this app. Let's get started with the basics of Arky. Once you download and install the app on your iPad, you can then go ahead and load it up. All you have to do is press that magic blue button in the middle to import one of your FBX 3D model files. Now, this can be exported from any 3D modeling software and directly imported into Arky through the use of a cloud-based link. So go ahead onto Dropbox, OneDrive, whatever you use, drop that file in and paste that link in there. After that, you're gonna see Arky load this 3D model on the screen, which you can then manipulate and play with. The on-screen options allow you to do a few things. Basically, on the screen, you can change the time of day and understand the sun paths across this building. You can change the materials of the building you can go ahead and create an exploded animation to actually explode this whole building into pieces, which is a really cool, useful little effect that can be used for social media or anything in the works. And you can also add notes to your project directly onto the 3D model. So it's great as a collaborative tool between clients, between projects, just so you can really understand this model in 3D. But where Arky really stands out is its AR functionality and its augmented reality ability to do 3D objects in the real world. So what can you do in AR in the real world? Well, first of all, you can take any house or any model that you have and show it in the real world, in the real environment, exactly where it needs to go. Arky allows you to place a physical real world pin or an anchor as they call it in the actual project so that model doesn't move. Now, doesn't move is a subjective term, but nonetheless, the technology is there to basically place your model exactly where it needs to go. From there, you can also use the transform tool to move it left and right slightly to be able to actually move giant shapes in the real world, because it's not always easy to move a huge AR object the size of a house by simply dragging on bits and pieces of that 3D model. Everything that you can do on the screen options, like the materials, the time of day, and everything I spoke about, you can still do in AR, but it's more so about really understanding the project in 3D. Once it's in AR, you can also flick through a series of different color schemes, models, layers, or whatever you want by simply importing another FBX model that overlays instantly over the top of that one. When you manage to scale up your project to the real world size, place it perfectly with any of the great functionality tools that they have, you then have the ability to actually walk through an unbuilt project. Now, this is exactly how you can avoid a catastrophic disaster. Simply by walking through a project, understanding exactly the lay of the land and what it might look like in the context, you can change something on paper before it's ever built. Now, I say this all the time and it is significantly cheaper to change a line on paper than it is to move a wall in real life. So this AR function is incredibly invaluable in the grand scheme of a project when you are spending hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars on something that is yet to be constructed. Let's talk about the best case scenario. For me personally, it was a flat site. And if it's a flat site, it is easy. All you have to do is load the AR model, expand it to its full natural size, and then place a pivot point on that actual 3D model to be able to drag it, pin it exactly where it needs to go. Then you have the freedom and flexibility to walk around this full 3D model that isn't there in real life. It is a little bit trippy to walk through holding an iPad, looking past the iPad and going, oh, that's actually not there. You have to be careful of the real world scenario rather than just the AR version that's on the tablet itself. Now, full disclosure, it did still take me about five minutes to place this 3D model on a flat site once I understood all of the technologies in Arky, moved the pins, dragged it around, placed it to a real world object so it didn't move around too much, I finally was able to understand the value of this app. It does take a little bit of getting used to, it does take a little bit of playing and understanding how to use the app before you go ahead and then just dive straight in. 
but on a flat site, it is relatively easy. Once it's fully modeled, you can really understand the project. You can figure out if there's any faults, any flaws, where the landscaping is, where the window placement is, how that affects the physical already built world. Is there a giant power pole in front of your building? that you simply forgot about, or was that power pole perfectly planned and placed? You can use this AR model to genuinely and fully understand what's going to happen on site before that ever happens. Now, nothing is sunshine and rainbows, unfortunately. We do have a worst case scenario. And the worst case actually isn't too bad. It's just a little bit more frustrating than anything. So I have this site. It's a tiered site on the side of a hill. The project itself entails a bit of cutting and filling of the site which means we're actually building underground of the real world environment. As I mentioned before, Arki uses the real world environment to understand how to place a model into it. So when I tried to place a 3D model onto a tiered site that's actually meant to cut into the project, it does struggle. Even though I placed an anchor and positioned it into the real world, the model itself isn't able to sink through the earth or push back into the earth. The rear of the model is always using one part of the mesh in the real world and doesn't allow me to push that model into the environment. So unfortunately, this was extremely frustrating because it took me a very, very long time to get anything that resembles a real world project on a sloping site. So that for me just means I have to plan and prep a little bit longer before I show anybody this AR model because it takes more time. Now, I'm not saying it is impossible in any way, shape or form. If I had planned a little bit more and taken out the 3D elements in that model that were going underground and weren't gonna be seen, this would have been a very, very simple process. The site itself also had extremely overgrown grass, strong winds, it was raining part of the day, and it just wasn't the ideal AR conditions. So overall, anything can seem to be done on this app. Sometimes it just is a little bit frustrating. So far, this all sounds fantastic and amazing, but how much does Arky actually cost? Well, first of all, Arky is 100% free for the basic features. The basic 3D features let you import a 3D model, utilize the AR functionality to view models in both 3D and AR, scale them up to size, and it also allows you to do some offline storage of your actual project. However, if you want the more in-depth version of Arky to fully let you utilize everything like I've mentioned today, you do need the paid version or the pro features. Unfortunately, the pro features don't come cheap. Thankfully for me, this video today is sponsored by Arky, so they were kind enough to donate one year free of Arky to me so I could fully understand this and be able to provide my true honest opinion back to you guys. If you were to go out right now and purchase Arky in Australia for a one year membership, it would cost you $333.99 or it would cost you $28.99 per month. So by no way is Arky a cheap app. It is not something you're gonna go out and spend $5 on and be happy. It is a very expensive app for a very good reason. It does something very specific very, very well. So what's my verdict? Should you A, download it, B, pay for it, or C, completely skip the app? Well, personally, I think you should 100% download it for free. Start utilizing the Arky app and understand exactly how it works with your workflow, where you can utilize it, how far you can push the abilities of the 3D free app. And then if you're finding yourself as a professional using it more and more in your everyday work life with clients, then I genuinely do believe it is worth the $333 for a one year subscription to be able to showcase these AR models in full 3D and in their full glory. That's all from me. If you enjoyed the video, you'll find similar content to the right on this playlist. If you love the video, I'd appreciate it if you smash the subscribe button down below. And as always, my name's David Tomich. I'll see you next Monday.